I want to get uh, to know Greg a little better, and I'm sure you do too. Now, Greg, I understand you have a little business going. Yes, this is, this is true, and we are participating in the Merrimack Valley Sandbox Summer Accelerator Business Competition this year, so very exciting. So what do you do? Uh, we are kind of like D.A.R.E., except instead of talking about drug abuse, we talk about online safety and online identity. So we, we want to help young people, and, and all people really, understand their digital footprint and how it can help or hurt them. So give us like some tips. What would you say like when you're on Facebook or you're on Twitter or things like that? Here's one tip that not everybody always appreciates. The pages you like on Facebook. So not the statuses, but the actual business or fan pages, those are, unless you've gone out of your way to hide those, those are public and they're part of your profile. So if you think it's funny to like something that is a little edgy or perhaps offensive to some people, if it's not something you think an employer or university would like, you might want to go take a look at that. Definitely something to think about, especially since now everything is seen, like you said, employers, schools, things like that. Yep. And with Facebook graph search, I mean, you can just, it makes it even easier to pick out people based on their page likes, and you don't want to be that guy or exactly. that girl. Exactly. So how can people get involved with this or reach out to you? Um, you point them towards the website. Our website's just merrimackanalysisgroup.com, and we're right there. We've got a lot of resources there on, on the site, as well as our Facebook page. You can, you can like us. We'd appreciate it. That, that's a page we'd recommend for anyone to like, actually. <laughs> um, exactly. And then on Twitter, you can find us there, too. Great, so you guys can check that out. Now, Greg, so what is your favorite part of the Folk Festival? Clearly the food. The food, um, yeah. that's what everyone says. Yeah. And, but, but in my case, I know as a you know, semi-pro competitive eater, um, <laughs> who, actually I have two eating records at uh, food places downtown that no longer exist. I don't know really? if there's any Really, you shut them down? Yeah, it was uh, <laughs> Monkey's Ice Cream. I had uh, 20 monkeys jumping on the bed, which was like actually 20 scoops of ice cream. Oh, great. Yeah. So, so, so you, and, you and James are kind of, mm -hmm. you guys are kind of in competition. He, he drinks coffee at Brood Awakening for, mm -hmm. you know, 500 days and you eat 20 scoops of ice cream all the time. I, I go for volume. I think he's more, <laughs> of, he's more of an endurance guy, you know, so. <laughs> exactly. So uh, do you plan to go out into the festival this weekend, especially with your daughter, Lily? Definitely. Oh, going to take Lily all over the place and sample all the great uh, food, of course, and all the music as well. So we're very excited to do that. So my Perfect. wife, Ratri, is going to be there, too, and we'll uh, be cruising about. 